What's up guys, my name is Fran, and once again, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be checking out a new service from NVIDIA called GeForce Now for Mac. So before I actually get started in this video, I did want to take this time to mention that NVIDIA was kind enough to hook me up with early access to GeForce Now. But I also wanted to mention that this does not in any way, shape, or form affect my thoughts or opinions on GeForce Now for Mac. So with all that out of the way, let's get started with the video. So what is GeForce Now? Well, GeForce Now is NVIDIA's take on cloud gaming. So what exactly is cloud gaming? Well, essentially think of it like a PC or a computer that lives on the cloud and allows you to have external accessibility using its processing power for you to process or play your games. Now, NVIDIA isn't the first company to offer cloud gaming as a service. You guys may or may not remember a little company called OnLive. They came out years and years ago. They were a little bit ahead of the time, but what they were doing was selling a set-top box or a small gaming console that retailed for about $100 if my memory serves me correctly. This particular device connected to the internet using an ethernet cable, and it was only an online device, hence the name OnLive. Basically, you would remote into their servers or their computers, and you could then purchase games to play them online. So what exactly happened to OnLive? Well, like I said before, they were a little bit ahead of their times, offering a service where most consumers, their home internet connections, were maybe even still dial up, but generally DSL and broadband cable internet connections. There weren't many fiber connections back then, and overall just offered a bad experience. Something that's really important when it comes to cloud gaming is gonna be latency. If you have an internet home connection that's high in latency, like Cablevision or DSL, unfortunately, you're gonna feel a really big uh, lag or drag in the actual cloud gaming experience, and that's not gonna be good for anyone. So the NVIDIA taking their staff at Cloud Gaming, have they figured out the popular formula to have a successful low latency cloud gaming experience? Spoiler alert, I think they have. NVIDIA's GeForce Now for Mac offers a couple of features that I simply just haven't seen in the competition. More specifically, when it comes to the ease of use and overall compatibility with a lot of the games that I generally always use, considering that I am a PC gamer. But rather than me continue to stand here and talk to you about it, I think it'd be a lot easier if I just show you. All right, so now we're sitting here at my Mac and I'm gonna show you guys how simple and easy it is for you to get set up and get started using GeForce Now for Mac. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is navigate to the GeForce Now website. I'll leave a link to it in the video description below. Once you're here at the website, you're simply gonna hit download now for Mac. Now, once you go ahead and download this application, you're gonna go ahead and drag and drop it into your applications folder. Once you have the NVIDIA GeForce Now application launched, you're gonna notice a number of games here, but you gotta do one more step. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and sign into the NVIDIA GeForce Now application. Once you sign into the NVIDIA GeForce Now application, what I like to do is run Test My Network. Now this runs a network analytics tool, and what it does is it checks all factors, your computer, your network connection, your internet service provider, and then chooses a the closest NVIDIA GeForce Now um, server to you. That way you're gonna be receiving the most optimal uh, bandwidth as well as the most optimal experience using GeForce Now. All right, now as you can tell, uh, I do have an optimal network for network streaming. Okay, so the first thing I wanna actually show you guys is Steam. So in order to launch Steam, I'm gonna go ahead and click on my name up here and hit Manage Steam. Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna launch another application, and this application will put you in sort of a Steam environment, which allows you to launch and run Steam. Okay, so as you can tell, as of right now, I'm loaded into this virtual Steam environment. Now this is very cool, it's just like as if I was signed in on my PC. So here's another really cool feature of being in this particular Steam environment. Say I wanna play a game like Fallout. I'm gonna go ahead and hit install, hit next, I agree. And just like that, within seconds, Fallout is enabled and installed. And now I can go ahead and hit play and jump right into my game. And after some loading, you'll notice, of course, that I can go ahead and play Fallout as if I was playing on a regular desktop computer. Now, one thing I want you to notice, uh, I should have a shot up of my hands and the mouse as well, but you'll notice that it's almost lag free or latency free. I mean, this is operating as if I was running it locally on my machine. And this is super impressive. I under no circumstances thought it would be this responsive, but it is. All right, next I wanna try one of my other favorite games and that's gonna be Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Once again, I'm gonna hit install, I'm gonna hit next, agree. And just like that, once again, the game is automatically installed and ready for me to play. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. And once again, just as if I was loading it locally on my computer, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor is running. All right, so we've seen how Steam games work, but what about other games like Battle.net games? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and launch Overwatch.
All right, so overall, I was completely blown away and impressed by the performance of GeForce Now running a game like Overwatch. I mean, that's a game I spent hours on, and uh, it's a very twitchy, fast, first-person shooter, and I never thought in a million years that I could even remotely have a good experience using something like cloud gaming with Overwatch. Now, don't get me wrong, pretty much all the games I tested out today using GeForce Now gave me that super low latency experience, but I was just a little bit more mind blown by Overwatch because of its nature. So as I was mentioning before, the ability to play all of your favorite PC titles without having the need to run uh, boot camp or Windows or even the ability to play all of your favorite titles instantaneously without having to run an installer or wait for something to download is completely impressive and considering the fact that GeForce Now is still in beta it's only going to continue to get better during its final release so as I was mentioning before GeForce Now for Mac is still in beta with a PC version coming sometime in the near future now while it is still in beta it is free for you guys to go ahead and check out so I definitely would check out that link in the video description below because in the future when it does fully launch it will come with a monthly fee but overall, I am completely impressed with GeForce Now for Mac, and I am going to spend a little bit more in-depth time exclusively using this service just to give you guys a more proper review and feedback. This is just a really quick uh, overview and setup video because I wanted to show you guys how easy and simple it was. Well, that is going to pretty much wrap it up for this video. I'll leave a special link in the video description below so you guys can check out GeForce Now for Mac for yourself. As always, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about GeForce Now or anything at all, do me a favor and leave them in the comment section below. Also, while you're down there, if you like this video, slam on the like button and if you aren't already subscribed to the channel get subscribed once again guys my name is Fran thanks so much for checking out this video and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one